Mexico. So. You gonna answer him? Dog. You gonna answer him, audience? What? Are you gonna are you gonna grace him with the answer? What is happening in the neighborhood? Well, I mean, we have a show, Alex. I mean, it's called the practice room, and we're supposed to be drawing. But <laughs> I guess so. We might we might as well get started on that. Yeah, I'd hate to keep him waiting. It's not like we have any other talent that could keep anyone entertained. Exactly. It's not like we're <laughs> video game people or anything. We're ba- <laughs> we're barely holding on to an audience as it we're, is. We're, we're on we a can't f- afford to get experimental. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have a script. We gotta follow it, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's up, guys? How's it going? Um, this is the practice room. If you didn't know. And uh, it's my turn today, and if you guys haven't seen, um, we have a huge amount of progress right here compared to last episode of me failing and trying to make a a nice character that's human. Yeah, I think I re- what I remember was you you had the head and some of the hair, and then <laughs> yeah. on the episode you drew basically the whole upper torso and arms, and, yeah. and then... And then went home and finished out legs and details. It, yeah, I basically... So, I'm only showing you the top half right here because it's kind of like what we did. But, here is what I did off screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She looking good. Look at all that. Look at all that meatiness. Looking fine. Looking fine. Now... I, in the terms of reference, I have done so much right here that I need to explain. Now, here's the, pro- I wouldn't say it's a problem, it's more like a thing that I haven't really learned yet. Everything I think looks good right here, because I'm pretty, oh wait, no, we talked about this. We talked, we about, talked like, about the belly button. The belly button, yeah. Now, here's what I've been learning and what I've been doing off screen. I've been learning a little bit more tips and tricks when it comes to making body, like body, I wouldn't say modifications, but more like trying to make it look proportional. Mm -hmm. And I have, I definitely did get the attire down pretty well right here. Like down, kind of down to the letter in a sense. Nice. Um, I added shading. I actually detailed this and uh, (laughs) I did some scribbling right here. For the... Oh, you got, like, little runes going? Yeah, like, the thing is, is that I didn't understand um, with my, like, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I obviously could not understand, like, the, I want to kind of say they're hieroglyphs. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, like, the same across multiple references? Uh, yeah, basically. Well, uh, that's good. At least you have some consistency to go off of. Yeah, and then this, uh, like I said, um, I got most of her done, so... Uh, with this episode, it's kind of going to be like a like a touch up, last minute detail stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I apologize if I I didn't show like my progress with like certain parts, but I promise you, if I actually did show you that, that would take like shit. That would take so much. Longer. There's been a lot of off screen hours put into this one. Yes, and the thing is, is that like if I tried to do it on the show, it would kind of like take so much longer than I think think it would be. Like, it would take more than, like, um, it would probably take, like, more than two hours. Yeah, and that's not fun to just yeah, and drag like, it out. And it's not that we don't episodes. have enough talking points, guys. It's just that, like, it, I'm, I'm not trying to save time. I'm just trying to... We want to show as many things as we can. And we, yeah. and we, we get excited about new ideas all the time and want to jump to that and totally abandon our old projects. And Definitely. So, and I, I mean, it's not... Here's the deal. I, as an old project, this is actually one of my ones that I think I'm, I would say I'm proudest of, I guess. It's a good one, man. Because it's... It, Definitely uh, one of your, uh, like, most difficult things that you've attempted. Yes. And it's mostly because of just how, I, like I said, I'm not really familiar with... Uh, <clears throat> with... Uh, First with, you, but... Human, yeah. Oh shit! Ah! Humans, go back up. Don't go back that way up. Damn it! Panic. <laughs> yeah, panic. I gotta hit the panic button. Uh, 
Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Uh huh. I just need it to work with me. You need to calm down. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry, guys. You can do it, Jordan. I know. I believe in you. Yeah. Just need to calm myself. Also, I don't know why Lip Spray does this all the time. Well, it, I say it does it all the time, but it doesn't. Does it do this on your computer at home? No, it does not. Huh. It's kind of weird. That is weird. Yeah. Uh, a computer? You gonna work with me? Com- computer? You on crop, uh, right? Huh? 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 Anybody? Anybody? Anybody home? Hello? Ah, damn it. Come on. What are my temperatures looking like? If you look what at you- the bottom... What right. do you mean? If you look at the bottom right corner of the monitor, there should be a red number and a green number. Oh. What do those say? Um. I don't know. On the monitor. Oh. 5139. Okay. That's it's running fine. Yeah. Uh, damn it. I might have to reset it, unfortunately. <laughs> just, just close that one or reopen the, uh, the old one. Here, I'll close the window real quick. Here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm really not sure why this program has an attitude sometimes. I don't know. It's a good question. I wish I wish I knew. It seems to be when it draws at larger scale. But I wasn't really trying to. Uh, and it's not. It's not like you're drawing at a huge scale. But it's like like if you're zoomed in on an area and drawing, it's it fine, seems yeah. to be pretty happy with that. But when you try to draw like one big thing across the whole, yeah, the whole deal, it's not happy with that. Right. Damn it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to restart the. Just task manager it. Oh shit! A rat. Wait, did you just open a new instance of the program? Yes, I did. I feel okay. Well, you gotta close the old one for I, the I, thing to capture. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Just ta- just force close it. I I am. Uh, uh, Control shift escape. Control shift escape. Control shift escape. And find the thing that says lib sprite and click on it and then click on end the task. But I can't find my mouse. Oh no. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, end task? Yeah. There we go. There Yay! We, we fixed it, guys. I know how to computer. Well, let's. Yay! Yeah, let's see if we can get the new one happier. Yeah, that's. Let's see if I. Okay. All right. Now, just here's the deal. I don't need to do this. Just don't press that. Draw small lines. Yes. <laughs> now, what you saw right there was just an illusion. <laughs> it didn't happen. And we're going on as we should. So yeah. Anyways, guys. Um, I I obviously drew the hands. Uh, they kind of look weird, but I mean, oh wait, you're actually missing a shaded area in between those. Yeah, fingers. I know. That's what I was gonna fix. <laughs> it's also happened right here. Oh yeah. Some of the shaded areas that I try to make, like um, there's lots. There can be some little pieces that you just you don't really notice until you're yeah. really looking at them mm-hmm. when you look at the big picture you're just like ah that all blends in yeah um i kind of want to fix the eyes or something but i don't know what to do what do you think i should do like you want to redraw them or you want more detail more or? detail what do you think what do you think mm-hmm. i should do Well, you've already got a glare. You've already got the upper shadow. Oh, try doing eyelashes. Yeah, good point. So, what I... Hmm. Ah, that's a tough one in pixel art. They're just kind of little... They're just these little flick-ups. Yeah. That happen kind of sporadically along the eye. <laughs> uh, oh, um... 
Like you, know, you see how the the colored part of the eye yeah. is sticking out of the um which part? Uh, the upper the upper part is sticking like over the top of the upper part of where the eyelashes should be. You is want it? you want that to be a straight line across here. Let me like you want, in, instead of this humping around, you want a continuous line across here. So this is going to be kind of flattened. And this is oh, you think flat. so? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see how it goes. Hopefully the other mic picked that up. Yeah, so it's, it, and, the, and then you'll lower that upper part all together. So you want, you want one, you know, kind of smooth line across. Like this? Yeah. Oh, God. Maybe, maybe a little too flat. You know, round. Flat. round flat. Well, it's good. It's just, yeah, round it out a little bit more. Here, here. Maybe we should go for a different. A little bit smaller. Wait, does she have two sets of eyebrows? Uh, Yeah, in the, in the reference. Oh, fuck. Let me pull it. Oh, yeah, I pulled up yeah, my reference now. That's another. I probably shouldn't give you advice without looking at. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, just draw whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I just put some glue on it. My not to may images. I mean, she just looks like she has. Two eyebrows, that's why I say it. Not safe for work. Off. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. You got the one with the hand on the hip. Yeah. There it is. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, almost, but not quite. So, it's not, it's not two eyebrows. This is another kind of detail thing. Yeah. Uh, with the top of the eye, so it's um, it's 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 a bit of a it's a bit of a shadow line, but like so it, to think about this anatomically, your eye doesn't sit, you know, flat on a piece of bone. You have eye sockets in your skull, and they're a little recessed. Yeah. So what you do on top of the eyelash area is you 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 draw just a little short line to indicate kind of the top of where that bone starts yeah and it and it and it shows a bit of the recessed cavity so it you've got them in the right spot yeah but they're not going to be blue they're not going to be blue and it's not going to be two lines it'll be it'll be one line with a little fork at the end towards the center of the face but they won't be blue they'll just be black black and then and it's kind of weird and then and then a little bit of gray like the same and and then like the same shading you have where the hair is shading the face a yeah. little bit of that on the outer edges okay but yeah it is not uh it is not a second eyebrow <laughs> well it just kind of looked like it it's kind of it does it does look like it and i and i used to draw it like that too and i and it, you know I, I watched some breakdowns of how to do eyes to finally understand what that is right basically if you draw very realistic versions of faces, what that upper part of the eye socket will do is it's is it's going to curve around the front of the eye and it's going to follow the line of your nose bridge. It's basically that's how your bones kind of kind of hook into it. That's the that's the meeting point. Um, so wait, do you think? Hold on. Hold on. And so. Something that you can do when you're trying to measure out faces is. So what do you think I should do? Like you think I should just turn it into? No, they're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got rid of the blue, and now just keep that lower line, not and not the upper one. Like oh, the lower oh okay yeah yeah yeah. So turn turn the upper one back into regular skin. Shit. You do oh yeah. Oh, no, no, you no, gotta no, get sorry. the right color. <laughs> no, because I changed her kind of face color. Like she looked a little bit. Pale. Actually, just redrawing it from scratch is not the worst idea. Yeah. I could. Um, so, so instead of having uh, such a distinct hump, um, let it kind of have the same curvature that the top of the eye does. 
Um, and it's going to be, it's, you know, start kind of in the middle of the, start horizontally in the middle of the eye and then head towards the front of it. Right. Um, but it's going to, it's going to follow that same curve. Yeah. Here. This is an interesting thing. I've never tried to talk through this one before. Well, this is like kind of, kind of a diffusing a bomb. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, thin. So that'd be thin line. Okay. So maybe a little bit further left on your start. Oh, further left. Okay. Oh, oh, you can go that way too. That's fine. You, I draw left to right. Uh, too far. Too far. Too far. Too far on the start. We don't want the whole whole eyeball. Yeah, just okay. if you if you go from like the pupil up, no, it's still too far. Damn it! It's like where you drew the pupil. Oh, no, too too high of an arc. Shit! Follow, remember, follow the follow the curve that the rest of the eye is doing. It's gonna be that same shape. Yeah. Um, and then have it Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 and now at that right most end right here at that apex you're gonna have one branch that's just gonna go straight flat so it'll be above the one that you just drew oh it'll okay. start it'll start at that It'll start at that peak, and it's just going to go straight. Not up, just straight across. A little bit, little bit more horizontal than that. And no curve. And it'll be, you know, about half the length. Shit. Oh, uh, okay. So, like, right here? Right there, and just straight to the right. Yeah. Yeah, about like that. And then, and then now shade... You know, the space in between there and maybe one pixel offset, the same shaded color that you have for the hair. Oh, so like not that. not the not the blue, but where the hair shades the face, that skin tone. The, oh, this the, the one? darker skin tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Just fill fill in the gap in between those two lines and then like go one pixel offset. Like of right the here? whole of the whole thing, not on the eyebrow, on the lines we just drew. Yeah, yeah, just outline it basically with that color. Oh, okay. That would be that would have been the better thing to say. <laughs> just outline the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. That's okay if they touch. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sometimes when you do it, it just it doesn't. I mean, it kind of looks weird, but this is something that you wouldn't normally see in like a sprite. No, not really. This is this is, this is a little bit different, extra level of detail that that is normally not included in pixel art, but gives the face a bit more realism. Yeah. There you go. And now do that on the other side. Right. Uh, how does that one look? Fuck, I keep doing that. The other one... The other one's going to lead into... Well... You didn't quite draw the hair the same. It's... it's no, I didn't. It's going gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna to lead into the hair. So, uh, the same thing where you start about halfway across the eye. Horizontally. And it's just... Well, I mean, I can make the hair a little bit longer. No, 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 no. no. It's not about longer. It's about, it's about where you're eye is placed on the face in relationship to the hair. Oh. So like right here? Uh, maybe a little bit more right. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, like there. No, no, no. And then go left. Oh, left. Yeah. That's fine. Leave that start. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Just keep. Yeah. And then follow. Yeah. It'll be head left and it's going to meet. It'll it'll meet at the hair according to the reference, and then do the same curvature that the eye has. A little less aggressive than that. Um, and the end is going to dip down further. Oh, okay. So maybe not not quite. 
No, no, no. Um, the left end is gonna is gonna come out. Cause, oh, because remember, think about this. These are these are falling towards the bridge of the nose. Right, right. So that's that's the angle that you're trying to create. <laughs> Does this sound interesting, guys? Because um, so wait, you said that it was gonna go to the bridge of the nose. You said uh, that's that's a way to imagine it. So think of like here and falling down into here. Oh, okay. So like. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Actually, you can leave that upper portion. That's not totally incorrect either. Um, you'll just do that little that little shading, that same outline shading in in between. Um, the right side needs to be a little bit flatter. This side? Yeah. This is very. This is, I feel weird doing backseat driving. No, on. no, it's fine. Honestly, I kind of. I mean, I asked for like some, <laughs> some kind of like. Here's like, here's your detail critiquing. Yeah, I'm not really honestly, guys. Like, I'm into shading detail. I am not into like body. Um, I'm not really familiar with body detail to make it look like it's realistic. I'll probably have to like look something up for that. In order to uh, improve more. Okay, that looks weird. And then take the shaded skin tone and outline it. Yeah. Okay. Kind of works. Yeah. Since it's right next to the shade part. Here we go. That's right. it. There we go. Now we got a little bit more accurate. Yeah. Look. Um, let's see the rest of the face. Yeah. Okay, we got the chin. We've got the nose really doesn't need anything. Do you think the nose needs shading? Extra. Mm, no. Honestly, it would make the nose a little longer. Longer? Uh, vertically longer, not sticking out of the face longer. Like at like the point, I think the the point of the nose should be lower on the face kind of thing. Because what the reference kind of makes it look like is that she's looking down. Um, but your character is kind of looking just kind of straight off to the side, but... Yeah, I still that there's a it's a pretty big because the distance between the bottom of the nose and the top of your upper lip is shorter than to the eyes to right. like to like to the bottom of the eyes. Yeah, and right now the nose looks a little high on the face, kind of thing. Okay. So nose a little bit lower. Mm, more like, more like to like take this section and drag it down a couple notches. Oh, like the entire section? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, where you? Yeah, because this the nose is fine. Oh, the no oh, hold on. Sorry, just gotta undo. Oh shit! Hold on. No. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to drag this nose down. Oh, a little bit more to the right, like down and to the right. And zoom back out. Uh, I think the reference has it a little flatter too. Yeah. His nose is kind of pointy. Or, well, 
It's not like I don't know if it's like flat the, for her, like in the reference, but the the so the line underneath the point is should be shorter than the line on top. Okay, because you know, you know, you. Your nose is long on the front, on the top of the upper part of your nose is long across the bridge and then come to the point and then it immediately goes back down towards your face. So you want, you want that to look like a little bit sharper angle than just a pure triangle nose. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, uh, I think this looks okay. I like it. If you wanted to do more on the eyes, you could try doing... Um, instead of the hard outline mm -hmm. of the pupil... Like this? Take that... Take the what? Not the color... The pupil is the very center. Not the... Not, you know. Yeah. Um, and then in, instead of the solid black... Keep your transition colors, but um, but fill in that area with the darkest color oh, of the eye. I know you what you're talking. I know what you're talking about. The deep, the whatever was the deepest magenta that you picked, uh, but don't have the pure circle. Circle, like make it, you know, because the re reference on this one, there's there's just one shine off to the side, but basically the top part of her eye and then throughout the pupil is pretty much the same color. Oh, so it like no. Too dark. Too dark, yeah. Do do no that 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 color that you have on top of the eye, make it that color. This color right here? Yeah. And yeah, and fill it fill it through and then and then turn and then either remove the black outline or or Turn it that same color as well. Oh God, that looks weird. Well, hmm, may or maybe make it like. Can you thin out that line? Yeah, let me check here. I think the interior color portion is correct. Maybe just thin out the black line. Like make it uh, a little lighter. No, narrower. Oh, that's what you meant. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me see. I forget that that thinning is also a color term. <laughs> uh, but I would, yeah, that, and then I would still have the 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 pupil color be the same. Yeah, throughout. Trying to make this even is a little bit weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the outline in this case is more for implying the location of the pupil, which is better denoted with the the you know the progressive light to dark coloring of the eye. Yeah, um, but it's not as strong. And 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 when you're back looking at the whole body, it's gonna. That's gonna fit in better. That looks a little bit weird now. One of the, what well, she's the got a, one well, one of the things that's a little counter to traditional anime eye colors is she's got a bit of a glassy eye look. Yeah. Um, almost like usually you would see that whenever they tr artists try to depict a blind character, but they she's not really. They usually make the, that eye color the whole same. It's she's still. Never She's not really blind. She's no, just... she's got this. She's got this light dark purple, but or magenta, but there's very little shine to it, which is interesting. Well, maybe we can do something about that. Here. I mean, it's you, you know, I'm giving you these corrections, but it's it's all it's artistic interpretation. At the end of the day, you can definitely true put your foot down and go. <laughs> Your idea sucks. No, it's not that. It's like... <laughs> Come on and shine. 
Da na 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 Yeah! No. That clashes too much. I got an idea. Uh, I never listened to much of Collective Soul, but I did enjoy Shine. And, and I found a really fun cover of it by these four uh, beach bums. I forgot what they were called. They just they upload acoustic guitar covers of uh, whatever they want on YouTube, and it's just it's like it's like like stereotypical surfer looking guys with the really long hair, and they're and they're all just in board shorts and no, no shirt. You know, sitting on the side of the beach playing this song. Yeah, I'm like, this actually fits really well. Like, this this is a, this is a song that works good for for a bunch of a bunch of beach guys to play. Whoa. No, I don't think that works. Getting a little experimental here. Well, I mean, I had to. I mean, see if it yeah it worked, but uh, it didn't really. Work. I guess it's just because of just how the eye looks. I should, let's look at some other pictures over and see. She just looks like she has glass or glass. They're salt. Yeah, her pupils are just one solid color. Well, it and, looks like it's the mixed. Rest, the it looks rest like of her eye is that is the three color. Damn it! It. I think you have the pattern correctly. I don't think it gets any brighter. Yeah, here I'm gonna try something right here. I'm gonna try the blur tool. But it's looking like most people don't have a hard outline of the pupil itself. It's either the darkest color of magenta, or maybe one shade darker. Not the darkest color ever, but. The darkest color in, with respect to the rest of the eye. Yeah. And my phone freaked out. Oh, no. Oh, now it's back. Oh. And we're back. It's actually quite a bit of fan art over. Yeah, oh, no shit. For no reason in particular. Oh. Why did you tell our audience? Well, this character... Uh, is very popular among the fan base. She's uh, she's honestly like she's I very, like. She's very fun to play as. I like her. She she's a uh, she's very brain dead, but like she's got a prominent story arc. Uh, um, she's got a prior uh, story in terms of um, in terms of manga. Lots of interaction with the other characters. She's definitely she's with um, Noel Makoto and Zubaki. Yeah, everyone likes likes a staff wielder. I mean, I love it because she literally throws that shit like a meteor. Also, just like the concept of like a grimoire turning another person, uh, turning another transforming person, a person gender into like another person is just kind of interesting in that aspect of the grimoire. Okay, so um, I actually decided to use the blur tool right here. That's a good way to do it. I did not think of the blur tool. Well, it's mostly for the eye. I don't think... It's mostly to offset a, bu a bunch of colors, really. Yeah. Yeah, I think the colors in her eyes blend well, m more than their harsh distinctions between each other. Yeah. I think I'll put, like, a different distinction on this, on this uh, piece... Because I don't want this completely like blurring. Because once it does, it can't really fix it. Mm hmm. Okay. I really haven't spent much time mm -hmm. coloring in eyes. I've only really messed with them yeah. in a shading sense, but not an actual color sense, so. Right. 
Okay. I think that's all I want to do with her in terms of her eyes, because I don't really like messing with them. It looks good. Yeah, it does. You did a really good job on the body. I I was very surprised myself. Like, I thought I wasn't going to do as well as I thought I was going to do. Um, I could do a little bit better on this, because, like, um, the uh, thigh part, um, what it's having it do, like, those straps right there, they're kind of hugging her, uh, her entire body. Yeah, it squeezes in a little. Yeah, so that's why I... Actually, I you can tell the difference there. Yeah, here, I'm going to... Sometimes it's the minute details that really show. Couldn't you just spend all day on small stuff? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> so, right here what I did was... Okay, okay, okay. So, here's the deal. I want to try and... there. I don't want to get rid of some of the leg, but I mean, sometimes... When I'm showing and depicting that, I'm trying to show that, like, you know, it's hugging the. the you almost the need to exaggerate end. it a little. Yeah, I mean, I think over exaggerating it sometimes can be a, bit, a good idea. Right, now, here's a little bit of presentation that I need to fix. Sometimes when I did the shading, um, I think I kind of went overboard on the black part for the outline. Some of it is a little thick. That's why I'm going to replace it with uh, with the sh uh, shadow skin. All right. Kind of make it outline and then make sure, uh, just to trying to end this off is a little bit tricky. There we go. Um, as for the reference, yeah, the this part doesn't get any shading. It looks pretty good. I think it's ready for a background. Uh, I think it was. It does too. Uh, let me see if I can do. Actually, here a little bit more here. Sorry, just I'm very mm -hmm. meticulous when it comes to hair. Oh yeah, you want it right. Yeah, I think I got the hair as close as I'm gonna get because her, her some of the bangs are a little bit tough to get, but I think I got it. Yeah, I I think. The, the amount of time you could spend on it versus what you'll get out of it. Yeah. All right. So here's what I want. What are, what are we going for here? I want a lotus. It's a game plan. Oh, a lotus? Yes. Well. Specifically the white lotus? No. Um, I don't know any other lotuses. <laughs> no, there's a. She's depending. Hold on. Uh, can you hand me my phone real quick? Oh. Uh, Thank you. You're now, if I remember correctly, um, she's based off of uh, her attack. Some of her attacks are actually based off of a uh, off of a flower. I cannot remember which one though. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yes, I, I do think it's interesting as well. Here, let me check. Yes, it is interesting. <laughs> Yes, I am you telling have, you. If you have something more interesting to say, let me know. Yeah, exactly, guys. Uh, Anyone who needs a conversation filler, just go, oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, very interesting. Uh, What is it? What is it? What no, is it? I've never heard this story before. Yeah, seriously. Please, tell me more about your cat. Mm-hmm. Man, that's interesting. Drive. It's called... Or you were totally right, and they were all wrong. Drive, overdrive. They're clearly threatened. Clear the stone. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> oh, it's a cherry blossom. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Okay, I need to look up a. I need to look up a <laughs> picture of a cherry blossom. Draw a bunch of little petals. It looks like they're kind of elongated hearts. Oh. You know what? There's a little fork on the top. You know what? Right I could just draw it in the picture right here. I could draw it around her. Just draw, yeah, just draw her in with around falling cherry blossoms. Yeah. I love how I tried to spell cherry as like 
Cheese. C H E R R Y. Yeah. Cheery. Cherry with an I. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to piece up the cherry blossoms and I'm going to try to uh, put them in like little, uh, like little, um, I would say parallelograms. 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 Okay, Peloton. Seen way too many of those commercials. What is it? Peloton, the bicycle thing. Hey, do you think this looks like a good? Uh, zoom in. There's, I, th- I think there's like a fork that's on top of them. You think so? Uh, let me see. I mean, cause like I'm thinking of like. Well, make it pink, and then let's see. Yeah, here. I got you. I got you, fam. I got you, homie. Thanks, dog. Way to back me up. As a look. Actually, I think this leaves a little, little bit more pink. Did I catch you on your knees? You right back on your feet. Okay, no, I gotta stop. Um, I like listening to uh, certain artists that um, recreate songs. And like in a different genre. Oh yeah. So like um, I was listening. It was a uh, this one was by Juice World, but uh, it was actually by it was a, a punk rock group called Fame on Fire. And um, what I like about them is that like they'll take a uh, rock or like rock, uh, they'll take a uh, certain like rap songs or like anything like that and turn them into punk. That's pretty sweet. Actually, I think they're yeah. I think they're just kind of they're gonna be they're gonna have a round side and then a pointy side and then yeah. This one just looks like it's a piece of gum. Shade shade a little darker towards the the bottom pointy side or the bottom. Is there more color on the bottom? Well, I'm trying to get the, like the whole shading part down. I guess here here here. I'm having a hard time. You would yeah, think with kinda... all the cherry blossom scenes in anime that that would be something that comes up pretty quickly when you right it. yeah but not so not really no uh hold on let me i need to excuse me guys i need to see the because i'm i'm also picking i'm also uh there you go first one that showed up was yona of the dawn yona of the dawn great anime oh, you've ever seen that one i have not very i am i have been kind of shrieking on anime right now i think it's because i really like sometimes i want to uh um, I want to kind of let it thrive, I guess. And then, oh, you want to like jump in when a bunch of stuff is out and you can just watch the whole thing. Yeah. And it's because like, if I, if I watch it, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like with MHA. Like I, one of my friends told me to get into it. Like I was like, okay, whatever. And, um, the thing was, was like. When I watched it, I was like, um, I'm fucking marathoning this thing. And I'm like, wow, this looks really fun. Yeah, I would usually wait uh, for things like that until they're all out so I can watch them at once. But one uh, show that I've been enjoying uh, that's uh, that's been piecemealed out is the new season of Tawawa on Monday. Oh, really? Yeah. And they're just, they're short little five minute episodes and they're, oh, okay. you know semi story link there's a uh but not in, not entirely something you would have to watch in sequential order but yeah. they're fun they're fun little moments okay so i kind of it kind of looks weird but i put a cherry blossom like kind of upside down yeah some of them will be the underside yeah yeah because they'll be they'll be falling in a variety of mm-hmm. ways uh i'm actually <laughs> the funny thing was i was like I looked up on uh, YouTube like uh, cherry blossoms anime scenery and it's like uh, there's a gif where like the cherry blossoms are kind of like blowing in the wind. Oh nice. And like there are some that are like like this and then they're like there's quite a variety of shapes. Well it's because they're also like you said they're in. Some of them have the little split at the end. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to make some of them look a little bit sharp, mostly because. 
Yeah, Yona yeah. the Dawn was an interesting one. This girl is the princess of the Shogun. Oh, the, and, sh- the uh, Rising sh- the Rising Shogun. It, yeah, it's like it's 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 the Shogun, but fantasy setting, not totally realistic. Right, and right. And like the, how the countries are set up. But, I don't know. That's fine. Uh, basically, one of her best friends uh, is like a weapons master, oh. and uh, um, another another member of the family or a rival or something tries to usurp him and kills the dad and then the the princess and the bodyguard escape. Um, yeah. And and they Do you think oh sorry. Um sorry to interrupt. No, go ahead. Uh do you think this is a little bit too pale in terms of cherry blossoms? In mm. terms of color? Uh, d- I no, because some of them look white. Yeah, you know? that's the thing. Like it's like kinda I, I, it's kinda hard. Like to... you can have like have some lighter ones and have some darker yeah, oh, ones. Oh yeah, that's what I was trying to that's actually what I'm gonna do here. I'll make this one a little bit dark. Yeah, but on, honestly they could almost look white and, and be fine. Yeah. There's I don't I I don't some of them in the reference were glowing. <laughs> 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 that that I found. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, she escapes the castle with her friend, and then and then they're tasked, uh, basically it, to here. I'm gonna try something cool something to kind of cool. retake the capital. They have to go find these four guys that are all, um, like half dragons. Right? Oh, like, like they're they kind of hybrids. Half, they they all have they all have a body part of a dragon. Like they all have either an arm or a leg or wings. Or, or, or a tail. So they don't. So do they morph into a dragon? Um, they might later on. I don't. I can't remember if I actually finished it or not. I don't. Or I or I watched it as far as it had come out at the time, and there might be more episodes now that I haven't seen. Um, it's 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 very. Um, uh, what is it called? The reverse harem. It's set up like that. Oh, so the chick is getting in love. Yeah, yeah, because all the dragon dudes are are super pretty boys, and so is the her childhood friend, and they're all vying for her attention, and they have you know the personality varieties. Yeah, Uh, but it's it's very. Is there like an abrasive one? Like no, it's very it's very funny, quirky. It remind like it it's the same level of romance as like Oron Host Club. Oh yeah, yeah. I've just, I've, I think I've I've watched some of that. Yeah, just very just silly personality quirks. Yeah. I watched that one really early on and liked it. I was like, this it's, is this is funny. I like it. At least it's not Monster Masune. I like it. I like it when it's back backwards. At least it's not Monster Masune. <laughs> no, that's 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 the other way that you can take it. And there's a lot of. I, honestly, I've watched some of that. I think it's funny. It is funny. Like <laughs> just how much how it's much got some funny moments. Kimihito is like. But they they made the whole joke about like oh he doesn't have any he doesn't have any really uh, eyeballs because he's always in danger and and shit like that oh yeah so it's just like when him like when he's getting strangled by Mia or something like that or like some kind of situations going on like he, he never has, see, has his eyes yeah yeah and then and then he has like Miss uh, Agent Smith like all down down his breath oh yeah I think it's honestly I think that. Um, I kind of want to watch it more <laughs> just because of how many situations he gets into. It was pretty absurd. Yeah. I think I watched up to the mermaid girl. Oh, uh, oh, shit. does that mean that you saw Centuria? <laughs> yeah. 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 So the whole, the whole crew was the, it's, was, it's Mia? was Mia, the centaur, the slime, the harpy, and uh, yeah, and then it was the merman girl. Oh, you haven't gotten to uh, the spider. No, I know who the spider is, but no, I never watched yeah, that Rack episode Nera. all the way up to that. You know, what's another show that I thought w- looked very similar to that one was the one. What is it? I, I think I know which one. You're it's, it's the one where he's a. It's a doctor. A doctor, yes. And he sets up shop, and he has to treat, treat all of these monster, monster girls. girls. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was like, man, this is looking familiar. <laughs> yeah. I'm deja vu. But I guess the thing is... is what Even the, like to the point that it was a, a Lima that was the main like like side I character think, for I him. think that's... The, or Lamia. I think that's that? Lamia. I think that's how you say it. I, I think that's the whole deal about it. That's just a thing that's set up. 
This is funny. I kinda, That's one of those anime that I watched vicariously through YouTube clips and basically, uh, yes. basically watched the whole show without watching the whole show. Mm-hmm. And then you realize that, like, wow, I've already oh put it God, in this I've already, time. I've ever. seen this whole thing. All right. But in, oh, shit. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to put, like, cut versions of it right here. Yeah. Maybe yeah, like, they don't all fall cleanly. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh... I wish they were purple, though. Like, honestly. Yeah. What? What happened? Make them purple. I might. Yeah, what have I... The one I've been on a kick right now is uh, Rage of the Bahamut uh, Bahamut? Virgin Soul. Which I think is the, <laughs> I think is the second one. So, originally, um, this was an RPG... Uh-huh. Uh game. And then they made at least two anime off of it, maybe oh. more. Um God damn, this is a big and it looks more like a tooth than it does a It does look like a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> if you did like a white to a yellow, that would that would absolutely be a tooth. Yeah. You never know what's in those trees. <laughs> oh shit. Um, she might have just knocked someone's tooth out. Yes. I mean it makes sense. I mean with how many things that are in Blaze Blue, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, there are so many things that are just not that are not uh, explained. Yeah, she could have knocked a Jubase tooth out. That'd be funny. Oh, Platinum would not be happy with that. I well, know she would. Well, I mean, you've seen. Uh, I, if anybody's not played my uh, campaign in uh, Central Fiction, her rival. Well, one of the rivals is. Uh, is uh platinum <laughs> and like she's she's explaining she's kind of a jealous that and she doesn't want uh my to meet jubei because she has like really big tits yeah and like um I think he'll fall for her. um platinum is or i'm not saying platinum but it's more senna and Luna is a little jealous. She's jealous because she doesn't have big tits, mm. and she's also technically a lolly. <laughs> so, God, what am I? What am I doing? So that's why it's kind of weird. It's very <laughs> nat. Yeah, the, you see that uh, character rivalry come up a lot. What just having big girl versus small girl? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of gag reels about it in in Blaze Blue. Uh, very, very, very standard trope, but always fun to see. Oh no, I fucking love I love tropes, even though they're like I do too. Cliche. Like, I still like it. I a lot of like for me that doesn't take away from the show. No. Like I know, even though I know that these characters are gonna fall into these slots, I'm like, this is still entertaining. Yeah, exactly. I'm, like, I'm, sometimes I'm having people, fun. Sometimes people don't really like. And, and there's and there's still things that I can pick out of these characters to distinguish themselves from other characters, right. even though they follow the same archetypes. Right. Oh, you know, they'll always have distinct feature, fe- features. Right. And there, and I, I think there's only so many original. You know, characters that you can make that are audience appealing. Yeah. You know, there's sometimes you, and there's, I there's guess there's definitely a formula that's been figured out to right. be like people like to see these types of characters consistently. So, I mean, I've always, go. like, when I, when I watch anime, I always like, um, even just in any show. I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like, when I look at anime, like, there are certain like kinds of characters that I like, and then there are others where I'm like, well, whatever. What? I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Like these. Like these characters are kind of like not my favorite, but everybody just fucking loves them. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, why? I'm like, why though? What's the appeal? Well, it's it's mostly like the. What's a what's a character that everyone loves that you're you don't understand? Um, I guess. You're gonna hate me because when I when I say this, um, bring it on, Bleach. I don't like Orihime. 
I, I do not hate you for that one. <laughs> I don't hate you for that I don't, one. I don't hate you for that one. And I'm, here's the reason why. It's because she's the... I I guess it's because she's kind of the love interest. Yeah. And she's like... Is she? Yeah. She is the yeah. love interest for Ichigo. Yeah. And it's just that everybody is like saying, like, oh, like, Rukia should be his love interest. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I was like... I, I, I kind of thought that was... Like, I assumed that was the way it was headed the whole time. Yeah, but then at the I end... I really of the had day, written off Orihime, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty here. early on. Honestly, like, and I know that I, everybody's going to get triggered by this. I thought she would have been with Udu. I don't know. I thought she would be with Chad. Chad. <laughs> the Chad. Chad, the literal Chad. The literal Chad. I think it's Man, funny. I did not see enough of his character. I wanted show. to see he more. Was so cool. He looked so cool. I thought he was a dope ass dude. Okay, so Need, needed more of his character. Yeah, we did. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna have a problem. Um, I need to figure out how to put a tree. Do you need a tree? Uh, not really. I mean, I don't have to, but I kind of need to liven up the the gray outline. You know. Well, I think you just do. Do do layers in that in that kind of pink ish. Oh, you're so ma, ma, you know magenta to pink, and you're, you're just so fucking right, you're, dude. You are a genius. Dark at the bottom, head to light. I like it. I love it. There you go. All right, here we go. So, oh god. Anyway. I need to spill some more on, uh, dang it, no, I forgot the show. Raise the Bahamut. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I was going to get it. Sorry. No. no it's fine. No, okay. Quit okay. derailing me. Fine, fine. No, you can, it's your turn. You can derail me. What, okay, what okay. Else? No, no, no. Okay, so, uh, like I said, um, it's kind of weird that, uh, I, I guess what kind of, not weird, but like just, kind of threw me off was the fact that like she was going to be the love interest for uh, uh, Renji. Uh, really? Yeah, Rukia. Because of, oh, like, Rukia, yeah. Yeah, because of that whole... Uh, they were friends from a little while back. Cerate, yeah. And they were like, oh, let's enter the academy together so we can go... So we can become... cat. Well, I forget, dude. I need to remember how to... how to bleach. How to bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I need to remember... But yeah, basically, I was like, "Wow!" I'm like, I mean, it's not that I hated Renji. It's just that, like, I think he was kind of okay. Like, he was just kind of whatever. He was there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was kind of Ichigo's rival, so sort of, sort of. Yeah, like kind of like it's hard to be Ichigo's rival because yeah, he's like the he ultimate keeps, power level. He keeps plateauing. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I feel like he surpassed those. The like the the. Like rank and file reapers. Well, it's pretty funny. quickly. It's it funny. Was... It's funny how you say that because, like, just I, I remember the first reaper he found in the Soul Society was uh, well, when he got to into the area, he he fought the bald dude. Um, yeah, uh, I remember fuck. that. I forget. I thought uh, he was kind of nut. Like, I, I thought that guy was kind of nuts. Either. The, uh, yeah. From Squad 10. Oh, fuck, what is his name? I couldn't tell you what squad he was in, dude. But he was, he, he became, after, like, in later it's down. It's the only the, bald one. Later down in the line, he became a, he became a lieutenant. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Because he also got his bankai. Nice. So, I was like, well, yeah. Bald. Because, I mean, I thought he was just, I love how I'm, like, saying, like, oh, he's cool, but I can't even remember his fucking name. <laughs> Um. Shit, this is gonna bother me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out later. My turn. Yeah. All right, you go. So the re. So I've I've been meaning to watch Rage of the Bahamut for a while, and what originally got me introduced to it was this one dance scene, and I and I think it is the best dance scene I have ever seen animated. Really? It's. It's one of my favorite, <laughs> and in, and just in 
in the music choice and uh, the coordination between the characters and like the, the realism of the moves. It looks like a dance that you could imitate. Really? And um and 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 then just the animation quality itself is very, very oh, yeah. impressive. I mean what and, <laughs> and when I as I went through the rest of the cause normally you're like, okay, they have their one big budget moment. Yeah. You know, and then the rest of the show just looks like everything else. Looks like shit. No. They kept that standard of animation That's good. throughout the whole show. And I was I was completely blown away. Like every episode I'm watching now, I'm seeing like these little like these little transition shots or these side things where background characters are moving as detailed a manner as the main characters are. I'm like, no way. They didn't just animate that. They have, <laughs> These are things that they could absolutely get away with leaving as still shots. Oh, yes. And they, they, look, um, they look gorgeous. I, did we ever talk about this? Like, um, I, thought, I, I thought we brought up this conversation before, but like, I think we talked about uh, secondhand animation compared to like you know regular animation. Oh, whoops. Uh, in terms of regular animation in anime, there is um there is a de- clear cut uh distinction when it comes to like whenever there's like a fight scene and then whatever there's like a, a dialogue scene with cer- certain characters in certain anime. Naruto is very distinction <laughs> distinctive about that. Which ones they put effort into? Yeah. Uh yes. And that's an. I would imagine most people with a limited budget are. Yeah. Like, well, you do have want to, to make one awesome thing or a decent average. Well, thing? you have to remember that, like sometimes when you're dealing with a big shonen anime like that, like it kind of. You, you have a budget, nonetheless, even though you're like making. You have a budget. Work. You have a timeline, and then you think of your target audience and yeah, exactly. how much are they going to care about this fight? Your, expression detail when yeah. they're conversating. <laughs> but <they're laughs> most of them aren't. No. But here's the deal. Naruto, um what I've noticed in terms of animation, when it gets into like heavy conversation, like the anime kind of looks or anime uh, the uh, animation looks decent. Like it looks okay. However <laughs> however, there are certain moments in like idle animation or um Certain, certain uh, time time frames that that um, it looks really weird because of how because of how it um, how it translate it translate to screen. Mm-hmm. And I think what's weird about it is just the fact that like certain characters, <laughs> certain characters look really strange. When you see them, like, when you don't see, uh, when you see them turn or, like, when you see them, like, look at each other or something like that. There are other times where, like, it looks really derpy mm-hmm. when, <laughs> when uh, you see it. And some, and, and you know what? Sometimes the, the animes can't keep the consistency. Well, uh, yeah, I always like uh, when there'll be, like, an anime meme of, you know, some poorly drawn background yes. character making a funny face. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. It's they so to, funny. They are pretty hilarious. It is funny as shit. That, because... that has its own appeal to me. Oh, definitely. And I think I think people understand that. Like there are there are some times when the anime looks really, really crispy in terms of just not and when I mean crispy, I don't mean like good. I mean by like just kinda like a crispy chip. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's you see like an overcooked mm-hmm. like potato. <laughs> Yep, not not very smooth. No, or like an overcooked steak. Yeah. So something that I really appreciated out of out of out of Rage of the Bahamut was um, the facial expressions. Oh, really? That they that they did, and then it something that I noticed that was kind of different were like all of the usually all of the main characters have a set of expressions, you yeah. know, and then. And they all move between the same level of expression, and then the background characters a, a bit to not at all. Um, but in this one, each character's facial expressions, and not just the expressions they land on, but the faces they make to get to the final expressions, yeah. are all varied and are set up to match their personalities. Right. So one of the characters that's, you know, very high energy and excitable 
has a big motion to get to an even bigger expression and other characters that are very cool and collected have these subtle motions to yeah. get to other kinds of subtle expressions but they carry the same weight yeah. as the ones that are very heavily exaggerated and mm-hmm. that this was what inspired me to draw John Dark um because that was one of those moments when I was like this this was a scene that did not need this expression right and but this was something that they were willing to not only spend time on the final face that she made but the the transition into that face yeah was was something else and so the the setup is that two of the characters are trying to escape from this prison and one of them made it through a grate in the roof and was waiting to come back around to yeah. pull the other one through and john sitting in the tunnel hearing the guards run up yeah and and she makes this like man they showed up and this little like mm, like little little uh, little at like mild irritation expression, like I, w- I wish my partner would hurry up and grab me so I could get out so of here. So I could get the fuck out of here. Dang yeah. it! How are these people chasing us so well? And the the face that she made was absolutely beautiful because it's it's it looks real. Yeah, it looked so. Remember that? Like one? this is a face I would absolutely see an, a real, real person make in this situation. Yeah, it's it's it, a it high was so beautiful. It's a high like stress situation like just I was like who spends like time on this and thinking about what kind of fate like and 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 spending the time to make it look really really high quality and and then the imagination of of the creator of the expression to go to to think of this is what this this is what this person really looks like. I was like, I've never seen that face in another show. Even even though other shows have had situations that would absolutely merit this face, I've never seen someone else draw this face. Yeah. It looks perfect for the moment. And I was like, I have to draw it. I, can't. I have to draw you. I have to draw you. <laughs> no, it's just it's that one family guy moment where uh, Peter sees the he sees like this yeah. construction worker. He's like, I have to draw I, you. Yeah. You look like cavemen on walls. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That uh, is a funny one. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that was just that was and that was just one of so many moments that I that I already have like screenshotted and then and just mentally saved like Yeah. This this show is just visually Amazing. beautiful. What a what a what a fun one to watch. And then yeah. and then I really enjoy the story on top of it. Right. I guess I'm a little over halfway through now and it's really no, oh, I mean it's really hey, escalating to a fun level. I mean, hey, like you got to you get sometimes you got to enjoy what you love when it comes to certain yeah, and it's it was it's one of these pleasant surprises where I was like, I didn't think I was gonna like this show that much. Right. I really like this show. Uh, so the main plot is that there's humans, gods, uh, and then demons, um, and they all they all kind of lived in like the stereotypical relationship that you think they would live, and then one human became king, and he's like. I want humans to be in charge. And so he declared war on the oh, gods the and gods. the demons and he wound up winning. Yeah. Which, which was pretty cool. Cause usually, and yeah, when you see, it, usually like, in these shows, they get their butts handed yeah, to them. Like pretty humans, solid. humans are usually just fucking dead. But his, his gig was like, I don't want to be dependent on the gods for stuff anymore. And, demons are and I want, and I don't want to be terrorized by the demons anymore. And so he wound, yeah, he wound up subjugating the demons and then kicking the gods back to their home realm. Um, Honestly, if I was a god and I got my ass kicked by humans, I'd be like, you know what? Pack it up. Let's just go home. Yeah. But, but um, it's good. It's good times, but the, the population gets kind of, disheveled a little bit even though they have this newfound freedom some of them kind of miss they miss the gods working with the gods and they don't like the idea of subjugating the demons yeah uh, because they're Slavery. they're actually treated as slaves uh, and some people treat the demons very very poorly, poorly yeah um but 
but the but the king's like, we're not going back to being number well, yeah. three on this planet. We're, I'm, I'm having none of that. And uh, so the gig is that they're all chasing this kid. This one kid that Joan of Arc, uh, who who was originally a saint, yeah, uh, during the war against the demons, um, actually during the war against the dragons. <laughs> oh God, sorry. The dragons are kind of like their own, their little own side group that's powerful, but not interacting with the rest of them. They're probably They're, just doing their own thing. They live too. way, way out of the way. Are they in the know, mountains and they something? don't get in yeah and they don't really get involved yeah um and so this this kid was born of this former saint and has all these wicked powers and the humans knew that the gods were going to try and get a hold of this kid to, yeah. to try to win back the war yeah and so they chased after both of them relentlessly and the mom was able to disguise the kid as a human um and they and the kid blended in uh, with the poor humans and demons. Um, well, they they find the kid. The gods find the kid, yeah. take him back, um, try to flex on their power. What they don't realize is that the the human king has been building this epic contraption because he kind of figured that 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 they may or may not catch the kid in time. Yeah. So he was like, I need my insurance bet just in case. And he builds this like older than the gods weapon that's that's supposed to be, Ooh. you know, super powerful. Yeah. And uh, so the gig I'm at right now is that the gods can't c- grab the kid, came back to the humans and were like, give us back our stuff or we war. And he's like, bring it. And they're yeah. like, and, and, uh, the gods came back, tried to flex the new kid's power. The dude shoots the super ancient weapon cannon and just destroys, destroys them. Destroys the gods? And, and it, it uh, destroys their, their army home? that they had brought. Oh, and they shit. would retreat back to their home, but it cost the king one of his eyes. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so now he's half, he's half blind. blind. Um, he's probably piss. But the main girl in this story is part dragon. Yeah. And her gig is that she can't really control her transformations. Mm-hmm. Um, so she, she has to find someone. Well, she gets people to help her transform. Yeah. And she just, she basically, she just exposed herself to the king that she has this power. Yeah. Um, and he's probably like, oh. And so now we're, now we're going to see what is, the king now knows who this girl is. What are they going to do? The, the, all the kid is trying to do is just get back to his mom. mom. And the gods kind of lied to him wow. by saying that. I mean, it makes that, sense because like the gods are never like. like could, because the gods could have just been like, we'll go find your mom and then reunite you. They were like, no, you have to join us in this war to free your mom. Yeah. Which it wasn't entirely true. <laughs> they she were, was probably like. They were kind of. They were trying to manipulate this kid a little bit. Yeah. And uh and it wound up working now. So now the kid's back with the gods, but he got beat up pretty bad. And so we're gonna and the gods army got annihilated. Got destroyed, so you know. Now we know the girl's the dragon, the king's lost an eye. And, and the, the humans and are the still- mom the mom escaped from the prison. So yeah. we're gonna so and and is on her way to the right. heaven realm yeah. to go find her son. And so that's where we're at right now. Yeah. It's it's a it's fun very show, interesting. Man. It sounds like it's very interesting. I, I love it. And normally one one of the things that I like is is that they didn't make anyone a pure evil bad it, it's guy. It's kind of they, like they, a they, they neutral take, faction. They didn't take the lazy way out yeah. of writing villains where it's just oh, I'm going to destroy the world for no reason. Everyone's there. Yeah, for a for a, different a purpose, purpose that's in theirs and and their communities. I, I think I self think, interest, but because they're mutually exclusive, they're butting heads against each other. And yeah, and, it, and it's fun as the viewer to be like, this guy's the bad guy in some situations, but the good no, guy in other situations. That's actually, and I kind of like. Like I like seeing the humans be able to fight back against the superpower the super, beings. No, no, that's, I love that shit. That's cool to be able to, to like see them square up. Here's the deal: like when you when you think of you like know, a, a situation, having like, the powerful people get their arrogance shoved back in their face yeah. and stuff like that. 
But then the human turns around and treats the demons like, like horrible. Shit, yeah, yeah, and it's horrible. And you're, and you're like, oh, man, I'm almost a fan of this I'm guy. I'm almost, yeah, not. exactly. It, <laughs> it plays with your emotions. Like, you're yeah. just like, oh, I want to like these people, but they're they're terrible to this other faction. It's, it's, a, it's, it, it's interesting. It doesn't make sense. But if, but, but if the demons took over, they would just try to kill all the humans yeah, and do the same thing. Them, yeah. And so you're looking at both of them going, oh, uh, I, don't, I don't know who to play I can't root for. for either of you. Which one's the lesser evil? Who's, who's better? Yeah, it's a so, it's a fun one. I bet. Honestly, that sounds like a fun anime. I would good, watch. good show. Or yeah. check it out. Well, anyways, um, I sort of I sort of know how it ends because I I already way way before I started this and I was just yeah. going through clips of like this. Oh, by the way, epic soundtrack. One of the one of the better soundtracks I've heard from an anime. Oh, that's good. Really, really enjoyable. Um. And I was going through clips of stuff, and I had kind of incidentally wound up figuring out the ending of of the king and the dragon girl. Yeah. For some, like I know how some, like their final interaction goes. Yeah. But I had, like there's so many other characters that are involved in this. I have no idea how the rest of this plays out. Right. The, you know, like the only thing I don't know is that those two characters aren't dead at the end of the show. But that's that really doesn't tell me as much as you think. Yeah. There's a lot more that's going on. Right. You know? I mean, I guess what my deal about it is that, like, who's going to be the one to come out on top overall, like, at the end of the day? It, it's really got to be something. I'm, I'm looking forward to I, it. I am, too. It sounds like it's... I think it's just a 24-episode... 24? 24? run i mean i'm cool with it because like and it it seems like the other characters like like the other the other version of this anime has the same characters but i don't know yeah if it if it's the same storyline or if it's kind of like uh full metal alchemist brotherhood you know where it's just kind of another telling of the same story yeah yeah well well i mean you'll see at the end eventually won't you Maybe, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll finish this one, and then I'll go see what the other ones look like. Yeah, that's fine. This was the main one that I was like, I want to focus on this one, because it's got this dance scene in it. I mean, hey. And I love this dance that's fine. scene. That's fine with me. Uh, but anyways. This, uh, we've got quite the lovely background here. Yeah, I wanted to give off like a sunny day kind of, or not sunny day, but like kind of a, what, here. I'm gonna put Summer day. And there we go. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, I think I'm gonna keep it like this for some reason. That I'd call that a winner, man. Yeah. That, uh, I don't. I really don't think there's anything else you would do to it. Oh, whoops. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I keep forgetting about those. Above the shoulder. Yeah. Just All these stuff like that. in between places. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to... I'll try to do it out. Like, But honestly... This, I, this made for a, a nice view of the progress of the drawing. Definitely. You, you, you really got a good before and after picture here. Yes, especially with the beginning face. Jesus Christ. Uh, but anyways, I think that'll be all, guys. Uh, this will be the end of my uh, Natsume's uh, dealing. Uh, maybe um, I'll definitely maybe add in some. Next time. Yeah, definitely. I'll definitely add in some more uh, cherry blossoms, and you guys can see it um, a better background, like in uh, another drawing. Maybe I'll add a uh, speed drawing, like Alex does as a finishing picture. You know. Hmm. But I think this is going to be the end for this one right here. Okay, guys? And, uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Yeah. If, um, thank you for actually carrying the conversation. I wasn't really thinking of anything. <laughs> I, know, I had some things that I was like, I have Honestly, to. Honestly, like, I, I was only thinking of like my <laughs> the work I was doing and like at my actual workplace, you know? Yeah. So I'm f- glad you actually brought up those. Uh, first those anime topics. discussion that's not. My hero. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I bring up a lot of MHA because of how much I like it. Can't believe we avoided it. I mean, I, I brought it up sometimes, but it's not, it's not that much. <laughs> but either way. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content. And then the next episode, we'll see what uh, whatever uh, Alex is doing. I have no idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. <laughs> I'm mad at Dirge. <laughs> oh god, I, I don't know if I'll carry that one on. It might I think be something else. I'll try to. I'll try to make a Star Wars droid or something. Maybe. I'll yeah. Definitely, I'll try that next time. But anyways, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See ya. Bye.